Hi everyone, welcome you all to Deep Matrix. In today's video, we are going to see about how to design a closed loop control system using Simulink. So, without any further ado, let's move to the topic. So, first of all, we have to drag the scope to the untitled Simulink window. And I am mentioning I need two ports. So, next we need a summer. So by using this summer, we are going to give the feedback. So I am going to change the one sign to minus because we are going to give the negative feedback. So our input is step. Okay, I am giving two step time as. So then transfer function. So transfer FCN. So we'll change it to 130 something. Okay, we'll leave it. We'll keep the same value as 1. So I'm going to connect my summer to the input of transfer function and output of transfer function to my scope. So I'm going to connect the step input for visualization to the scope. So first we run this and after that we give a negative feedback and at last we'll check for what is the difference happen while giving the feedback and without the feedback. So I'm going to run this. So you can see that this yellow line is my step input with step time 2 and it maximum amplitude is 1 and this blue line is my step response. So this is how it happened because it uh, at time we can also see the configuration property. Okay, leave it. So you can see it attain a settling time or it attain a stable state at uh, 7 or 8 seconds. So this is how it looks when it is without a feedback. So next we are going to give a feedback. It is very simple. So drag a wire from this line and connect it to the negative part of the summer so this is a negative feedback the main reason why we using negative feedback is to reduce noise and to reduce the output impedance so and also in order to increase the bandwidth of the system so comparing to the positive feedback negative feedback has many effects um, but the prime reason is we have we are using negative feedback to reduce noise so I made a negative feedback connection. Now we are going to run. Okay. So now you can see after giving a feedback, we get a signal with amplitude of uh, 0 0.4 plus and it attain a settling time at 5. So this is what uh, advantage of using a negative feedback. We can also add a gain. Wait, I'll give show how to use gain rotate so I added a gain of 1 so we'll make it to 2 so the negative feedback the value of a negative feedback will be multiplied by 2 before uh, subtracting from our input signal so we'll run this so now you can see the amplitude of the wave is uh, even smaller compared to the previous one because at first we have nothing here which means 1 now here I am having 2 so 2 will be multiplied to all the value so our amplitude get reduced and the same time you can see last time our settling time was 5 but now you can see it is before 4 itself so this is advantage of using feedback uh, Okay, I am today done with my video. I think hope you all enjoyed. Comment about our video so that we can improvise our work. Uh, see you in the next video. Until then, enjoy learning. Thank you.